You need to start with GHC app. This is a tool which allowed you to install any version of Haskell. And I think it also will help you to install Cabal and Haskell language server and stack. So here you can see the installation instructions. If you on Linux, you can use this link or if you on Mac OS or FreeBSD or if you on Windows, you can this, uh, use this link. So install it at first. Next thing you need to do is to configure your GHC app. Uh, use this parameter GUI to run it in a in text interface. Uh, you can see here that you can actually uh, select uh, the versions of the GHC app, of the stack, of the Haskell language server, and of the Cabal. So, just select uh, uh, all the recommended versions so you can see here these signs which uh, show what version you selected so you can actually here you can see that you can install some versions uninstall and set so just select recommended and set on every version on every recommended version Interesting that uh, when you select the uh, your Haskell version, you can use any version, which uh, you can see here in the list. You can press A to show all the versions. And if I press A, I see all the versions here. And I can select any of these and change it later for example if i decide to change the haskell version of my project i can just select it, change it here but uh, for start just select the recommended version this green version okay next play press quit and uh, go to your directory where you want to create your new haskell project and uh, make a directory for this uh, for example i will create a project in up new project and go to this directory after this you need to initialize your cabal project here so uh, to do this you use this command cabal init run it inside your project folder and uh, this lead you to generation all the files that you needed to your project and if you look inside this directory you see these files um, which cabal generate for you uh, the main file which you interested in actually were two files uh, which uh, interesting for you is this is the main dot hs file which contain the hustle code of your program and up dot cabal file which contain the configuration of your new project okay uh, now let's look inside uh, the haskell file uh, haskell program file which generated uh, I will use the micro editor for this. Uh, you can see here this is the very simple Haskell program, which uh, uh, defined as a new model main. Um, so this is the main entry point into our, into our Haskell program, and this is the function which just put to our screen "Hello Haskell." Okay. Uh, you can write your any any code you want uh, here. Okay, let's just quit from here, and uh, the next thing I want to do is to run uh, my program. So I can use Cabal Run for this. Okay, it built for me, so this program, it's compile it and run it. So you can see here our Hello Haskell. So actually our program is run. Next, uh, of course, you want to install some library. Well, for example, here you can see that um, we have a very simple 
very simple output which is not very nice and what if i want to do it uh, a little bit a little bit uh, nice so so let's import uh, the decoration model to do this uh, let's look inside our directory we need to do modifications inside our project configuration file so this is the new p.cabal let's edit it and go to section where they have uh, where they have the import where they have dependencies so we need here to add dependency which uh, named haskell say okay let's save it and quit save it and quit uh, now let's go to our main file and here i will import this model this this model import uh, haskell say and this module has a function uh, uh, haskell say which uh, takes some string and produce the io action let's say hello world okay and let's quit so now i want to recompile this if i don't do any errors it uh, will run so let's run it with cabal run So I think I need to do import before or after the module. Like this. And yes, you can see this. ASCII art well like, like Haskell say hello world mm. of course you can import any other packages or libraries which you want uh, here just add to build dependencies uh, the libraries which you want and using them you can write any code you want inside the main and dot hs file so i think this is uh, uh, the main point from which you need to start to try haskell so and uh, thank you for watching in the next video i think we will see how we can uh, generate not just a single haskell file uh, the project with one haskell file uh, and uh, we can also generate the project with many haskell files and uh, some library which can be used by these files but this is the topic of the next video thank you for watching push like push subscribe and see you later bye bye oh by the way i forgot about uh, hackage so <laughs> you need some place where you can find uh, the packages, the libraries, uh, and there the community share all the library, all the libraries. Uh, you can use this package website. You can click browse here and to search any modules uh, which you want. Uh, for example, if you want to work with OpenGL or any other, so or, or any other thing that you want you can search for it and use these packages to write your own code or your new packages and you can share the, the community using this uh, website your package